Hi there, this is the Twisting AMRAP workout. There are four exercises. All of them emphasize yaw, which is rotation. Uh, the first exercise is done for 21 rep reps. It's squat and twist. The second exercise is 13 reps, or moving down in the Fibonacci sequence. Um, 13 reps of lunge and twist. The third exercise is twisted runner's lunge, so that emphasizes yaw and thoracic spine. And the final exercise is side plank switches, five on each side. So again, it moves through 21, 13, 8, and 5. We'll start with some priming of yaw rotation. So this is from the Club of Yoga Awakening sequence. On the hands and knees. Inhale, pull the right hand up. Exhale, thread the arm underneath the body, tap the shoulder. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, thread. Inhale. against your elbow. Inhale, half. Exhale, hold. Inhale, circle, sweep arms. Exhale, hands to prayer. Hands by your side, not to 
final climbers, and the hips for squat. So the hips down low, arms come about head height. Inhale, sweep right and down into the top of the hold. Squeeze your knees together. Exhale, right and forward. Inhale, left hand back into the back. Five minutes and 45 seconds in. And our goal is to do as many rounds as possible of this AMRAP circuit for 20 minutes. So we'll take a look at the clock. I estimate we'll get about four to five rounds in at the most. Uh, but if you need to go slower or faster, that's totally up to you. So, first exercise the squat and twist. Take a paddle grip with your left hand facing you and your right hand facing down. Sit the hips back, coming into a squat. As you Stand, drive up, and pull the club up with your left hand. Marry the movements together. Inhale down. Exhale up. 21 reps. On your side, it's four. And five. Six. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Seven. Eight. Sit back. Ten. Twelve. Switch sides. Right hand faces forward, left hand back. Sit down, keeping the knees back over the ankles. Okay. One, two, three. Find the rhythm of moving with your breath. Track your more reps. Nine. Power breath. Ten. Right side so the muzzle faces forward. Take a big step forward with your back heel lifted. Bend the knee and twist. Work to get your front knee directly over your front heel. And foot balance. Bend your back knee and then your face. The quicker you move your arms, the more activation of your core. Seven. Last one. 
Side plank switches, option for modified variation. Modify the knees are down. Kick one leg out like a kickstand. Reach, hold here, or you can lift your back leg. Come back down to quadruped, realign the spine. Kick the opposite leg out. Bring your right leg out like a kickstand at the first. Lift up. That's easiest variation. You can try a couple reps there, just working on engaging your obliques. Finding your balance. Again, stabilizing from the inside out. Let's take it a step further. Side plank switches. One, three. You need to mark right here. You can always bring the leg to the middle or between your transition here. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump between the hands. Inhale, half lift, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer, hands by your side. We're right into the next round. Take a quick peek at our time. We're at 11 minutes. We're averaging about five minutes per round. So two or four rounds today. Pick up speed each time we come through. Find your paddle grip. Hip distance apart. Sit back. Drive up and twist. One, two. Try to squeeze the glutes at the top. Three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Go faster if you can. Ten. Eleven. Straight arms. Twelve. Last one, 21. Switch sides. Again, paddle grip. The idea is to keep your heart rate between uh, 70 and 75% of heart rate max on your modern day. And if you're doing a higher day, 80 to 85. You want to maintain that heart rate, maintain the sense of calm, seven reps during the entire workout. If you start to funnel your stress, your anxiety, any negative feelings or somatic sort of trauma, the fear state. So you have to bump that out of your physical body, out of your fashion, out of your sweat, out of your glands, into something productive that is sustainable for the long term. Five more reps. Last one. Club down, find your over your overhand grip. Next hardest variation is just stepping into monkey twist. Return back to the starting position, feet hip distance apart. Two, three, four. Midfoot balance. Five straight arms. Body up front, one, two, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Club round, switch sides, moving down. A little slightly less reps every time you come through. Start pyramiding your repetition. Four, five, find the knees. Sweat. Turn 
side. Downward facing dog. Made it through the third round. Fourth round for the magic act. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Walk or jump the feet to meet the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Hands to the sides. Grab your club. You should really be able to, be able to feel that yaw, that rotational sort of energy in your fascia lines. Really emphasize that in your final fourth round. Pile over, feet hip distance apart. Squat down, load. Pull up, one. Keep your back heel lifted. Keep your 
open the prayer, just slowly rise. Like doing this other way there, just keep your hands in a prayer position or put your hands in prayer. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist to the right, looking out, half, four, three. Slowly come out of your twist in the back to your back, open up to warrior two. Bob in the full side back. Warrior two, switch, inhale. Exhale, let your eye gaze follow your club. Right hand down, left arm up. Maybe your extended side angle, either modified or full variation, working your obliques. Training this inside plank of the fan. Straighten the front leg, coming right into triangle pose. Maintain that twist and hold. Slowly come back to the top, club bell switch. Horizontal switch, put the right toes in, bring your club to center. Inhale forward, come up halfway, this left hand on the ground, twist the body to the right, reach your club up, straight up, and also go here, modify, or stamp the muscle up towards the ceiling. When you're ready, bring your club back down the prayer. Inhale, flat back, exhale, rise. Pivot the right toes out, return to the warrior two. Take your club up to reverse scar, reverse warrior. Float the club back down, club bell switch. Take reverse scar, cartwheel your club down carefully onto your mat. Now on left, you step back, high plank, chaturanga low. Inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Inhale, left leg up, three leg up. Exhale, step the foot three. Stay in your eye lunge, club up front, and rise up on one. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist to your left. Put the elbow on the outside of the knee, ring out the spine. Find your stability in your legs, find your strength in your inner core. Slowly rise back up, spiral back heel down, hold the belt over your two. Club up, switch. Keep energy shooting out through the fingertips. 
As you finish, take the left hand behind you, point the toes, reach up, hands are spread. Back down. Butterfly stretch. Working adductors in your thighs, and the length and exhale. Pull. Grabbing the thickest part of the ankles, lengthening the spine, pulling the shoulders back. Keep working the knees down. Eventually, your body comes down as well. Rounding the spine. AMRAP workout. Take a moment to journal, see how you feel. Make sure that you record your rate of perceived exertion, technique, and discomfort so that you can have some objective me measurements and see how your practice progresses. Namaste. Thank you.